Hi everyone, it's Jessica here and today, I want to talk to you about my experience at the hospital. As you know, my backpacking tour around Europe was fantastic, but it was time to get back to the States, so I stopped at the food court at the airport to grab a quick bite before my flight. During the flight, I had lunch with a glass of orange juice. It was the only meal served on board during the entire flight. A few hours after lunch, I started feeling some stomach pain. The cabin crew came to assist me and asked if I wanted to take some medication for nausea, but I declined. They offered me some fruits, but my stomach was hurting and I felt nauseous. I was holding an air sickness bag in case I threw up. I couldn't believe that it was happening to me. I was trying to watch a movie and forget about it. Once I arrived in New York, I took a taxi and asked the driver to take me to the hospital. I called my mom, but she didn't pick up. I guess she was busy at work. At the hospital, I went to the front desk for registration. I'm not a big fan of hospitals, but I was getting weaker as time went by. I needed to show my health insurance card. I just hoped that the insurance would cover everything that I needed. It was also required to complete a health form with my personal information, medical history, allergies, consent for treatment, and so on. After all these procedures were done, I was sitting in a wheelchair while a nurse was taking me to a room. They started by taking my vital signs such as heart beating rate, blood pressure, and temperature. The worst part for me was when they needed to take blood sample to run some test. I don't like needles, but the blood test would give them a better understanding of what was happening. The healthcare team suspected I had food poisoning. Therefore, I needed to give stool sample for further examination. After some time, a doctor was telling me that I had food poisoning and it was due to a bacteria. But she reassured me it was not severe and that I would be fine. The doctor asked me to take medication to help stop the runs to the toilet. Because I lost lots of fluids and I was feeling weak, I was doing IV therapy to get medication, fluids, and nutrients into my body. The medication left me drowsy and I fell asleep until the next day. Even though I wasn't very hungry, I had to force myself to eat a little bit. Hospital food is not my favorite type of cuisine, but it wasn't that bad. As soon as my mom finished work, she arrived at the hospital to see me. A nurse was comforting her and telling her that I would be fine. My health insurance didn't cover all the expenses and I need to pay for the majority of the treatment and exams. After two days in the hospital, I was fully recovered and ready to go home. Hello everyone, how are you doing today? It's teacher Laura here, and now we're going to look at the vocabulary used in this lesson. To grab a quick bite. To grab a quick bite means to eat something quickly, often when you don't have much time or when you're not very hungry. Stomach pain. Stomach pain refers to discomfort or pain felt in the abdomen particularly in the area between the chest and the pelvis. Nausea. Nausea refers to the sensation of discomfort or unease in the stomach, often accompanied by the feeling that you are about to vomit. Hurting. Hurting typically refers to experiencing physical or emotional pain or discomfort. 
Feel nauseous. To feel nauseous means to experience the sensation of nausea, which is a feeling of discomfort or unease in the stomach that often precedes vomiting. Air sickness bag. An air sickness bag, also known as a motion sickness bag, is a small disposable bag provided on airplanes and other forms of transportation for passengers who experience motion sickness or nausea. To throw up. To throw up is an informal term meaning to vomit or expel the contents of one's stomach through the mouth. Weak. Weak generally refers to a lack of physical or mental strength, vigor, or resilience. Getting weaker. When someone is getting weaker, it means that they are experiencing a decrease in their ability to perform physical tasks or activities. Health insurance. Health insurance is a type of insurance coverage that pays for medical and surgical expenses incurred by the insured individual. Cover. In the context of health insurance, Cover refers to the extent of financial protection provided by the insurance policy for various medical expenses and services. Health form. A health form is a document used to collect important information about an individual's health history, medical conditions, medications, and other relevant health-related details. Medical history. Medical history refers to a record of an individual's past health events, medical conditions, treatments, surgeries, medications, allergies, and other pertinent health-related information. Consent for treatment. Consent for treatment refers to the permission granted by a patient for healthcare providers to administer medical treatment, procedures, or interventions. Wheelchair. Nurse. Vital signs. Vital signs are a set of basic physiological measurements that provide important information about a person's overall health and bodily functions. Heart beating rate. The term heart beating rate refers to the frequency at which the heart beats. It is more commonly known as heart rate or pulse rate. Blood pressure. Blood pressure refers to the force exerted by circulating blood against the walls of the blood vessels, particularly the arteries as the heart pumps blood throughout the body. Blood sample. A blood sample refers to a small amount of blood collected from a person for diagnostic or medical testing purposes. Needle. Food poisoning. Food poisoning is a condition caused by consuming contaminated food or beverages contaminated with harmful bacteria, viruses, parasites, or toxins. Stool sample. A stool sample refers to a small sample of feces, bowel movement collected from a person for diagnostic testing purposes. Runs to the toilet. Running to the toilet is a colloquial expression used to describe the urgent need to defecate or have a bowel movement, particularly in the context of diarrhea. Fluids. In the context of the human body, fluids refer to the various liquids and substances found within the body that play essential roles in maintaining bodily functions, hydration, and overall health. IV therapy. IV therapy, or intravenous therapy, refers to the administration of fluids, medications, nutrients directly into the bloodstream through a vein using a needle and intravenous IV catheter. Drowsy. Drowsy refers to a state of being lethargic, sleepy, or lacking alertness and energy. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Take care and see you next time. Bye-bye.